Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can insert a calendar event using the Android Attent, and this is all done from within your app. By the end of this, by the end of this tutorial, you would have an app that looks something like this. As you can see here, I have this simple form that consists of three edit text with a simple button. Let me fill this form and I'll show you how this works. As I tap on the, ev on the Add Event button, this will launch the calendar app. And whatever values that we have filled in, in our form, it will be auto-populated inside the calendar app here. So we have the title, and we have this option that says All Day. And then if you scroll down a bit, we have the uh, the people that you would like to invite for this event. Their emails are auto-populated here as well. If you scroll down a bit, then you have the location, as we have here, and we have the description of that event. Now, when you tap on the Save button, this would be saved into your calendar. Now, you got this notification here because you can see on top here we have these emails that we've added in the uh, as part of the event so google showed this in google showed this notification saying that do you want to send this invitation emails to google calendar guests uh, i don't want to send that so just tap on don't send and this will be saved as you can see in the in the calendar app right now okay let's so let's open up android studio and let me show you how you can do that okay go back to android studio and here we have, as usual, two files. One is the main activity.java and the other one is the activity underscore main .xml file. Let me open up the XML file. I'll walk you guys through the, the views that I've added inside this file. We will start first with the, the main text view, which has the label event form, as you can see on the right side here. Followed by is the, uh, the first edit text, which is the title of the event. And, follow, and the next one is the location and has a hint as set to location and then we have the description and finally we have the button that's why when the user taps on this button it will trigger the action whereby it will put, it will send all this info using the uh, one of Android 10 that I'll be showing you guys later to the calendar app so it's simple uh, nothing complicated around here okay let's open up the main activity of Java and let me show you what I'm doing here as usual I'm declaring the views on top as you can see here and then I'm referencing them based on their IDs and finally we have this button button on click listener so when the user taps on the add event we will trigger the on click action and first here we're checking if the use have actually filled the title the location and the description if they did that's where we're going to uh, be adding the code for the triggering the intent otherwise I'm gonna just show a simple message in a toast saying that please fill please fill all the fields okay now we're done with the the first part now let's uh, work on the the actual part of this video and that is to trigger the calendar event and to do that first, because we're using the Android attend, first we need to set the type of attend. And to do that, we'll do attend equals to new attend. And the type of attend that we want is we need to insert something. So the action would be action underscore insert. That's the first thing. We need to insert an event inside the calendar. We'll use the action insert. Followed by, we need to set the type of data that we're working with and that would be so attend.set data so the type of data that we're working with is a calendar event and to do that we'll do calendar uh, calendar calendar contract dot content uri so we've set the content type as the so we've set the data as the uh, as the content uri which is part of the calendar followed by is where we're going to work individually with the fields 
that we will populate later on. We will first need to populate the title of the event and to do that we'll do attend dot put extra. So the first thing that we need to do is a title and to do that we'll do calendar calendar cal calendar calendar contract dot that would be events dot and then we will do title so that's the title of the event followed by its comma and then the actual value so the actual value would be a string and to get that string we will because we are actually uh, getting the string from the edit text which is here what we're going to do is we're going to call title dot get text dot to string so we have the title right here followed by is the uh, the description of the event so the description would be attempt dot put extra same thing we'll do calendar calendar contracts dot uh, events dot description and followed by the description would be the description value and then we will get, get that from the edit text so description dot get text dot to string now we're done with the description followed by is the location let me just duplicate this line and we'll change the the fields here so from description that would be the location event location so this location would be uh, is the is the field that gets populated inside the calendar app so for the event location i'm going to change the uh, the type of edit text from description to location okay we have the we have the title we have the description and we have the event location let me let me move this to the top okay i'm just following the same sequence as we have here so we have a title event description event location and description and then we need to do one thing which is do we need this event to be available the whole day or do we need to set a start a start time and end time now we need to we need this to be available the whole day and to do that we'll do attend dot put extra and calendar calendar contract calendar contract dot uh, events dot that will be all day so all day here takes uh, a boolean value that's true or false so by default when you create an event calendar this option would be uh, turned off okay let me show you in the emulator here if you create a new uh, event you can see here this option all day by default it is switch off if it's switch off then you will have the option to modify the start and end time now this is basically a, a an Android time picker dialog if you set this all day option to true now if I switch this on then you can see the the start and end time is this uh, is hidden because this event will be available the whole day so you, can, you have the option of changing the date but you don't have the option of changing the actual time and what we can do here is available all day by default it is off but we want this event to be available without any start and end time and to do that we'll just pass a value of false sorry should be true by default it's false we can set this to true and then now we have the title we have the location the description the all day finally we need to uh, include emails of guests that you want you want the you want them to be part of this event what I mean by that is you can see this add people here I'm going to include certain guests inside this uh, event and to do that we'll do attempt dot put extra okay the uh, here we don't use the calendar contracts as we have did previously instead we'll do attempt attempt dot email extra 
oh, sorry extra email that's the one extra email and here we will pass the emails that we need to include as the guest between these double codes here we'll first include let's say this is a test email so I'm just going to do a test a test at yahoo.com that's the first email uh, followed by a comma and then the second email that you want to add test2 at yahoo.com you can do another one test3 at yahoo.com I'm not sure like about the about the number of emails that you can include here but so far uh, I haven't had any issues with adding three or four emails you can try to include more and see if like uh, how the app behaves and uh, let me let me know how it goes in the comment section below of this video I would love to know how the how the app behaves when you include many emails in the uh, inside this field but for this for this tutorial or for this uh, example I'm going to include three emails only okay we're done with the title we don't we've done with the location the description we want this to be available without start and end time and we've included the emails Finally, we can start the event, and before I start the event, I usually check if there is an available app that can handle this type of action. And to do that, we will do attend. Attend, oops, why do I type it wrongly? Intent, okay, dot resolve activity, we call the get package manager. It's not equal to null. So what I'm doing here is, because the attend type is set initially as the action insert and we're inserting a calendar event so here we're checking if there is a calendar app that can handle this type of event if there is i'm going to start the activity passing here the attempt otherwise i'm going to show a simple toast message toast dot create sorry dot toast dot make text the context will be the main activity and for the message we would say there is there is no app that can support this action length is short and don't forget to show let me put this in a new line okay so if there's no app that can handle this type of action just show it simple toast message okay let me just uh, clean the code or format it okay I think this is basically it. Let's give this a run. Let's see how it looks like in the emulator. Just tap on the run button and wait for it to build up. All right, so build is complete. Let me fill the form first. The title will be uh, coding demos event. And the location will be worldwide. Did I spell that correctly? Worldwide. And the description we will code together. Oh, that's my face. Okay, let me tap on the add event. And it says there is no app that supports this action. And that is strange. Add event. <clears throat> we go back to the code here. It seems to be the issue. If attend the result activity, the get package manager is not equal to null. Start activity for result. That's basically correct. Hmm. Okay, so after after debugging this issue, I found out the reason why. Now, if we, uh, what I did is a, it's a mistake that prevented me from uh, launching the app and sorry, it prevented me from inserting the event inside the calendar app and it ended up showing this toast message. Okay, the reason why is if you look closely at the attend dot set data con uh, calendar contract dot events dot content URI, initially I didn't add the events, so it was like that. So it was calendar contract dot content your eye and but uh, when I tried to run then I got this message saying that there is no app that supports this action so I had to include the events 
events dot content your eye and that's why it worked and let me show you guys so I'm just gonna run the app again so build is complete I'm gonna repeat the same process so the event title was coding demos event and the location was worldwide and the description was let's code together with a smaller face let me hide this keyboard I'm gonna tap on the add event button okay not worked I'm being directed to the calendar app and you can see here that it automatically populated the calendar form with the with the values that we've passed from our app so you can see we have the title and okay another option is another thing that I need to check out is this all day supposed to be true which means it should be available the whole time there's no start and end time never mind we'll look into that later and then we have if we scroll down a bit and we have the uh, the the emails that we've included which is the three emails here and you can see it shows you because you're part of the you are the organizers so your email will show up in the organizer list here if we scroll down a bit then we have the location which is set to worldwide scroll down and here we have the description of the event which is let's go together okay now let me look into the issue why this all day was not set as true uh, oh okay and the reason because it's it's surrounded by codes and this should be a boolean value and to do that I'm just remove this codes should be true let's run this up again okay bill is complete I'm gonna tap on the add event button again this should open up the calendar app and all right so you can see here now the all day option is on which means we can't set the the start and end time as you can see in the uh, in the previous test okay so I think this all works correctly now finally before we do anything else we tap on the save this to save the event tap on the save you get this dialog uh, box saying that send invitation emails to Google Calendar guests the guests are the, the email addresses we have included here I'm just, I don't want to send so tap on the don't send and here is initially the test was the uh, the event that we created in the earlier tutorial and this is the the new one which is the coding demos event you tap on the coding demos event and here we have the title we have the description so we have the location we have the guest you are the organizer that's why you have a, a check mark on your icon on your icon here and then the rest would be the emails that you want to invite and then we have the description of the uh, of the event all right so I think this is basically it I'm uh, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you again and happy coding